Becky, what are you doing? I'm painting a rainbow. What does a rainbow have to do with the United Way? In Southwood County, a rainbow links thousands of contributors to neighbors helped by United Way agencies. This rainbow, made up of people who give and people who receive, is a rainbow of hope. Six area residents took the opportunity to learn firsthand how United Way contributions help to improve the lives of their Southwood County neighbors. One of them, Connie, works on the paper machines at Georgia Pacific. I work at Georgia Pacific and ever since I started I've given to the United Way and I want to know how does my contribution work? For me it was CPR. I had a heart attack and my life was saved through administering CPR. Funny thing, I was already in the hospital and he actually, my heart stopped. It was a very short period of time. I really don't remember very much of it, but I'm still here to testify that it works. Mary Jo is a financial aid supervisor at Mid-State Technical College, where a large number of staff members give to United Way through payroll deduction. She is visiting the Family Resource Center, which assists low-income families. Hi, Mary Jo. I'm Tracy. Um, the Hi. center's done a lot for us. Um, we've gotten clothing and household things that's really helped us out money-wise when we couldn't afford something. or. Um, the people are real supportive to help you out anyway, you know. Good. They've really helped us out a lot, and we're real appreciative of it. Good. I'm glad to know my contribution is helping you and your family. <laughs> Doug is a papermaker with Local 187 at Consolidated Papers. His visit to a United Way agency showed him how United Way contributions make a big difference in the lives of area people. I tell you, there's not much that we don't do here at the Lowell Center. Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, I'm a widow. It's one of the nicest and best things that has ever happened to me, to be able to come down here and eat with my friends and just enjoy it. It's just like a big family to all of us. Yeah, right, it is. There's just so many things that, that I didn't realize you guys had down here. A uh, pool room, uh, exercise room, uh, uh, a shuffleboard, gym. So it's, you know, it's just great. It really, it, it's hard to say enough about the Lowell Center and what yeah, we do. It really and, is. And I guess I didn't realize you guys did half of that oh, stuff. Oh, we do you so know, much. I, yes. You know, I didn't know what it was about, I guess. You know, yeah, we uh, really do. I urge any senior citizen that don't know what to do with their time to come to the Lowell Center because it's a great place. It really is. Greg is the program director at WFHR Radio. He has been a longtime United Way donor and supporter of United Way services. Uh, obviously, this is a program where United Way funding has a great deal to do with its being able to exist. Oh, exactly. United Way subsidizes a lot of the programming we are able to offer for people with disabilities here at the YMCA. Well, that's great. And obviously, there are things that they can do in the water they can't do on the land. Oh, exactly. That's one of the wonderful things about being able to swim in the water. Is someone that might be wheelchair bound or have to use crutches on land, all of a sudden in the water, they're able to move freely and on their own. And it's a great experience. It's a great way to put the United Way dollars to work, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Diane recently started a new career with American Express Financial Advisors. She continues to give to United Way where she works. Uh, at the Literacy Council, we help people work on their reading and math skills uh, either by using an individual tutor or like Susan here, uh, using a computer program. Now Susan's been working incredibly hard on this computer program and she has just completed her high school equivalency diploma, so we're real proud of what she's done. It's a great program and I've learned a lot from it. Well, obviously what Susan has accomplished really says it all. I'm very happy my contribution is going to support the Literacy Council through the United Way. Tim is with Ron's Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. 
He contributes to United Way and is active in a variety of community activities. One of the unique things about the Boys and Girls Club, Tim, is that we have a very wide variety of programs, mm -hmm. and a lot of people think that uh, a Boys and Girls Club is just just a place to go and, and play games and have fun. And while we encourage the kids uh, to do that, we also provide them with educational activities. Okay. Uh, we have uh, tutors and, and, and homework help. As you can see, we have a, a very nice computer lab that the kids can use. Uh, we have arts and crafts and just a lot of really neat programs. We also stress uh, leadership development to help uh, the kids build their self-esteem and self-confidence. We do that through programs such as uh, junior staff, where kids check in other kids and okay. older kids may help younger kids. We have a Youth of the Month program that, that recognizes kids for their efforts, and we've really seen a lot of kids uh, really developed into some quality young men and women uh, through these programs. Great. So, uh, matter of fact, here comes Zach. Hi, hi Zach. Hi, Dave. How you doing? Good. Good. Zach, I'd like you to meet Tim Mansell. Hi. Tim, hi, this Zach. is Zach. How are you? Nice to, nice to meet you. So, uh, Zach, would you mind just telling Tim a little bit about what the Boys and Girls Club uh, has done for you? Okay. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club is important to me because Sometimes my, my mom works and I don't have anything to do and I can always count on going to the Boys and Girls Club and you don't only have fun there but you also learn things and you also meet a new friend every day and I, I'm really glad the Boys and Girls Club is here. Great, great. Because of the involvement I have with the community I know how important the youth programs are. It's nice to see the United Way dollars going to help the kids. Connie, Mary Jo, Doug, Greg, Diane, and Tim now know firsthand how their United Way contributions help right here in Southwood County. Their dollars, together with yours and mine, brighten the lives of children, senior citizens, people who are disabled, families who need emergency assistance, and all neighbors in Southwood County who need help. When people give and people receive, there is truly a rainbow of hope. Yes, we, we can paint a rainbow. rainbow. Together, all of us in Southwood County can paint a rainbow by contributing to United Way. Please give generously.